So this is just a quick tour of the quarantine hotel that I've been given in Xiamen. The hotel's name is the Lingling Hotel and uh, it's part of a theme park um, circus. Um, there's no choice in which hotel you get taken to. Um, you just get on a bus and they bring you to whichever hotel they've decided you're going to stay at and this was the choice that I had. This is the um, 485 RMB a night room. Um, there were two other choices. There was a 585 with a balcony, which I'll show you because you can look outside the window and see below the balcony. And then there's a 685 um, RMB a night room as well, which um, obviously I didn't opt for. So this is the 485 r and a night option over 14 days which works out to be about 740 pounds I think it includes breakfast but not lunch or dinner um, which you can order from the hotel at a cost of 40 r and um, per meal or you can also order in using Taobao or um, Meituan or um, some of the online apps and they'll bring that up um, so uh, this is the room, we'll just do a quick tour so you can see what um, I got for the money. I'm really pleased with it because I've heard um, some of the rooms that people have been given some of the hotels a little bit cheaper but um, a lot smaller um, and I'm really pleased with what I've got here considering that I'm going to be here for 14 days I think I'm going to be very comfortable. So. Um, there's your, your key card as normal which just goes in the slot and opens the main door as well um, to operate all of the electric now <laughs> um, just to be aware I did manage to lock myself out of my room which is not a good thing during Covid when you're supposed to be locked in because I was putting the rubbish outside and these doors are quite heavy and closed by themselves um, so luckily I had my mask on and had to flag down one of the members of staff to go and get me a key and get me back into my room quickly. So that caused quite a stir. Um, so we've got a little space closet. Uh, you do get some free slippers. Look, there's mine. Um, and there's a safe. There's no fridge uh, in here. So there's a big mirror though uh, to make things look bigger. I'm going to stick my slippers on. There's my mask for when somebody opens the door. Breakfast does get delivered. I've just finished my breakfast. Um, there's another video of that on here. And um, yeah, breakfast is nice. It comes from about 7.15 to about 7.30 it arrives. So they ring your doorbell and then it's up to you to come in. Um, so all the switches here for the lights. Um, turn these on. So the bathroom is really nice and big. Um, so obviously that's a that's a toilet, a nice view of the toilet there. Um, I have been doing my washing. Um, so, I'll, so so you get a load of toilet rolls. There's um, what's this? Oh, antibacterial wipes. Actually. Okay, so there's a whole load of stuff up there for that. Um, this has been excellent. It all folds up. It's got all the toiletries and soap and shaver and razors and everything in it. Um, towels behind there. There's a basket down here for putting laundry in. Um, with this hotel you do get a little drawer full of um, toothbrushes and combs and bits and pieces. Not all of them do. Um, I was warned to make sure I brush my teeth and do everything with bottled water, not water from the tap, so that's what that's for. And obviously I've got um, a sink which I've been using for washing clothes and also washing dishes at the minute. My dishes are basically a cup. Um, I did have to reorder online on Taobao um, a spoon and a fork because the hotel doesn't do any because of COVID. Um, and that cost about 220, 20 yuan, which is about two pounds. So that came, I had to order a grapefruit as well because the minimum order was, um, I think about two pounds. So I had to order a grapefruit as well to make that up. Uh, but that's okay. So now I've got some stuff to eat with. I've got my bar soap in there for washing clothes. And I bought this as well, which is uh, dish soap in a hand sanitizer bottle uh, for cleaning my dishes and sponge. Um, this is an excellent razor. I bought it for coming out here. I've not used it before, but it's um, 
well, I don't know, I just really enjoy it. <laughs> I think it's a fantastic razor. Um, so, uh, really big, nice bathroom. It is obviously a theme park, it's meant for families, as you can see by all the stickers and things on the doors. Um, it's a massive shower, which has been really handy. Um, you actually, if you twist the little handle on the side, the water comes out of here. Um, for I don't think it's supposed to be for washing clothes, but it works out for washing clothes really, really well. Um, so that's excellent. And then the line there, these are the clothes I was wearing during the flight, which um, took about two days. Um, it was a long flight and there was a stopover in Amsterdam, which was 23 hours, plus the 10, 11 hours on the flight to um, from Amsterdam to China. Uh, so it was a long time, so I was glad to get my, my clothes washed and actually they're almost dry. I was quite surprised. So uh, they've been hanging up for about a day, day and a half, and they're almost dry. So really pleased with that. So the bathroom is massive, uh, really pleased with that. Um, what I did bring with me was lots of three-in-one uh, Kenko coffee, which is fantastic. Thought I'd have to have sugar, but don't because... Um, Actually, it tastes fine. So I've also bought a little bag with um, Dunkin' Donuts sugar or McDonald's salts and you see Costa bits and pieces in there. So that's really handy as well. Um, the only thing really for cooking is a kettle. So I took um, these noodles out of the tubs and put them into Ziploc bags just to make it easy to put in the suitcase um, to get more in. The hotel did supply a whole load of um, water I uh, don't know if that, that, well, I do know that's not going to be enough to last me for two weeks. So I'll just order some more of those. Um, some salted peanuts and I bought loads of snacks just in case. Uh, and some wipes. Uh, I've also got cup of soups, which again, really small to pack. And some oats. Uh, standard things, there's a little rack there for sticking your bags on to make it easier to get to. Um, a nice table for either for working on or putting stuff on. Decent TV, um, obviously it's all in Chinese, although there are some uh, movies in different languages, um, but you just have to look through uh, to find those. Um, two decent sized beds, and again, as you can see, it's really meant for families. Uh, nice high ceilings, and uh, over here there's a desk where I've been um, doing my work and also um, part of a course that I'm doing at the moment on psychology so that's keeping me busy um, something else to keep me busy I've cleared a space here by moving this little coffee table so I can do uh, yoga and exercise here um, I would recommend getting a yoga mat I'm going to try and buy one on Taobao but I don't know how um, responsive they're going to be to me ordering that rather than food and I don't know if that's going to be allowed but we'll we'll have a look. I did also before I came out get some of these resistance bands um, to keep me active um, give me some exercise to do tried them out yesterday for the first time um, really good actually and um, yeah very handy uh, probably one of the best things about this room apart from all the space uh, I'm going to try doing a bit of running today obviously um, <laughs> around the room and maybe just in one spot is the view because the window is actually huge so it's a really nice spot to be doing yoga first thing in the morning um, and as you can see the view is pretty awesome because I know a lot of people have been put in hotels um, that are really uh, quite quite basic and um, so I feel really happy with this now if I open the window here one of the other things that's really good about this place is uh, I'm going to try and zoom in here you can see that it's actually a bit of a theme park so there's giraffes over there so giraffes over there and then down here uh, let's see if I can find it so just over here, yesterday, I managed to get some pictures. So there's some tigers over here. And then over, hang on. I don't know what that noise is, by the way, that keeps going on. It goes on periodically throughout the day. It sounds like um, some sort of sci-fi horror movie. 
um, some alien coming to get stuff. Now this here is some sort of massive panda house. Um, I was hoping that I might be able to see some pandas over here or over here um, in these outdoor areas, but I guess, I don't know, is it it's too hot? It is really hot here, by the way. Um, this is a big circus. Um, so, yeah, it, it's been um, really cool. Oh, there's a bear place over there as well. I saw a bear yesterday. So that was kind of cool. Spent a bit of time looking out the window trying to take pictures and videos of different animals that I could see. Oh, there's someone in a cart. Um, the balcony rooms are down there, so you see the only difference to this room is that you get this little bit of balcony outside as well. Uh, that's another 100 yuan, 100 RMB a day. Sounded like a tiger. I don't know what that was. So. I don't know, someone's not happy at being woken up. Anyway, so. Um, that's the room, um, more expensive than some hotels, uh, cheaper than some others, um, but I think for the 14 days I'm here, I'll be really happy. Um, don't forget to click like and subscribe, and if you've got any questions about quarantine or about um, visas or anything else, um, just give us a shout in the comments and I'll reply okay thanks very much